When I was coming up in the neighborhood, the old folks, they used to have this saying, show me who you walk with and I'll show you who you are. Really just think about that because that statement is so real. Show me who your trusted circle of friends are, your confidants, your inner circle, the people who you're hanging out with on the weekend, you're on the phone with right after work. Show me those individuals and I'll show you exactly who you are. second and just do a mental scan of your life who are you spending the most time with because as individuals and human beings we have you know we're flawed it's very difficult for any of us to really have an honest assessment of who we are as human beings but if we look around at our close circle of friends, usually that is the most honest reflection. That is the mirror looking right back at us as to who we are as human beings. You know, we've all heard that old saying, oh, insanity. Insanity is doing the same exact thing and expecting different results. And I get it, right? We all have friends that we grew up with that we love to death. And they might be really, really good people. But just take really honest assessment of them. If some of them boys you grew up with are girls, you know, and they might be hard workers, great parents to their kids. But if they're going to work and they do eight hours and they come home and for the rest of their night, they're sitting around smoking weed and playing PlayStation... And you right there with them, it's a good chance you're probably not as ambitious as you actually think you are. Or if you got that girl who is texting you all day long and the minute y'all get off work, she calling you as her own personal Dr. Phil and she got to tell you the, the, the drama she's going through again with that same tired dude of hers. And what he's putting her through and you sitting there listening night over night over night for two, three, four hours a night giving her advice. Is that really the best use of your time? Does that really reflect, you know, you're as ambitious as you claim to be? When people go see counselors and therapists and they really want to make true and honest change in their life, they usually get the advice to change people, places, and things. Change, if you want change, like true change, you're gonna have to be willing to change the people who you're hanging out with, the places that you used to go, and the things you used to do. Are you willing to do that if it means change? Because the reality is, and I'll tell you this, real friends, and I mean, real friends who love you, they can recognize that your ambitions, your dreams, your goals, they might be much bigger and greater than where you guys started at. And they're going to be pushing you. Look, it's time for you to relocate. Could this small town that we've come from, that, that we grew up in, you know, that we know everybody in the town, this town is too small for you. Your ambitions, your dreams, they're just much greater. It's time for you to relocate. You got to get out of here. You have to be willing to make some changes across the board in your life. And people who love you to death, they're going to be the ones who are supporting it from minute one. Because here's the deal. If you want next level results, you have to be willing to get around next level people. Start developing some next level affiliations. And in some cases, you're not going to be able to get that in that hood you grew up in. In that town you came up in. It's not going to be there. You have to be willing to make some changes. And that's something that we all have to be honest with ourselves. Because the reality is, if we truly, if we truly want more out of this life, we have to be willing to go out there and get it. We have to be willing to go out there and get it and 
I'm sorry to say, it might require you leaving your old friends behind. Now, I'm all with, you know, the people who we come with, those are the people who we leave with. That makes sense if we all go into the club together. But everybody doesn't have your ambition. Everybody doesn't have your drive. They'll be there. And if they love you, they're going to be the ones, they're going to be your biggest supporters. You know, so often, especially on these um, <clears throat> social platforms, you always get people who are trying to, to friend you and they're coming out, they like blast from the past. It's a reason why old friends are called just that. They're old friends. Maybe they're not meant to be in this part of your life. You don't have to accept everybody's friend requests. Leave them where they are. We see it all the time. Celebrities, front page news. They in trouble and usually it has nothing to do with them. It's because they want to keep it real. I'm bringing my friends with me. And usually it's those same friends that got them on the front page of every paper in the world. You know, trending on social media. They're the ones, the celebrities are the ones that get the views. They're the ones that get the eyeballs. They sell the papers. They're not, the, the, the reporters are not gonna report, oh, it was their friends, no. You have to be willing, and, and I can tell you this, guys. If you want success, success, it don't come cheap. It don't come easy. And it requires, it demands that you make hard sacrifices. And in some cases, one of the hard sacrifices might be doing some spring cleaning, leaving some of those near and dear loved old friends of yours behind. But you got to make up your mind and say, am I willing to make the hard sacrifices if that means achieving my dreams? Peace and love. I'll catch you guys on the next video and make every move a power move. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.